Remembering that you're working at your own pace, taking a rest anytime, having a water break anytime. Don't do things that cause pain. Um, and be mindful of your form. So think about a nice straight back and think about how you're doing the exercises. We're gonna start in a march and you can start nice and easy with feet down or bring it up, arms pumping through the shoulder, not the elbow, whole arm moving, back of the neck long, spine long, and pump for 10, nine, seven, Six, we're gonna step front in five, four, three, right foot front. Here we go, four, 10, and back, and nine. Strong, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go, march, up, up, three, Four, change to left, six, seven, eight. Left foot front, step. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, and march. Up. Three, four, five, six, stepping back. Eight, alternate leg, and back, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten more, arms open, up. Five, six, seven, eight, step side for 10. Out, out. Five, six, seven, eight, arms forward, up. Five, six, seven, eight, shoulders up and hold. Lift, lift, lift. Five, six, pushing up. Here we go. Push and reach, reach, reach. Four, five, six, we're gonna circle back. Circle back. Nice and big, and big. Three, four, Five, back to the march, seven, eight, and march, up, up, three, four, we're stepping side, seven, eight, right foot side, step, step, shoulders over the hip, five, six, seven, eight, back to the march, ready, and march, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, step left. Four, five, seven. stepping back, ready, 8, alternate leg. Back, back, 2, 3, Five, six, seven, eight, arms open. Five, six, seven, eight, step side. 10, nine, eight. Four, three, arms forward, 10 more. Up. Three, four, five, six, we're gonna hold. Shoulders up. Lift, 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 five, long butt back, eight, and push up, reach, 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 hip down up, seven, eight, circle back, ten, nine, eight, five, four, three, back to the march, up, pick it up if you want to, or keep it down. And five, six, seven, little bit across, seven, eight, and right foot is step and back. Turn your hip, turn your hip. Four, 
five, six, seven, ready for the march, and nine, march, up, up, three, four, left foot, six, seven, eight, left foot now, long back, shoulders over the hip, four, five, seven, eight, top front, up, top front, 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 five, six, seven, eight, push up or keep going front, four, five, six, stepping together, and pull together, together, a little bit low, seven, eight, and push out. Three, we're gonna hold. Five, six, seven, eight. Shoulders back, back, back. Turn. Five, six, pushing front. Here we go. Push. Ten, nine, eight. Five, four, circling in. Up, in, in. Three, four. Five, six, eight. One more time on the march. Up. This time, little pivot back. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right foot back. Step, step. Three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven. Eight, nine, and march. Up, up, three, four. Going to left foot. Six, seven, eight. Left, pivot back. Shoulders over the hip. Three, four, five, six. Tap in front. Ready, seven, eight, and tap. Front, up, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Five, six, seven, eight. Taps together, pull, step together. Five, six, seven, eight. Arms push. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Going to alternate knee. Four, three, shoulders back first. Here we go. Shoulders back, back, back. Five, six, seven, eight. Push, front, push, push, push. We're going to circle in. Five, six, seven, eight. Nice and big. Up. Up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alternate knee. Up, 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 up. Seven, eight, pull back or down. Ten, nine, eight. Five, four, three, plant your heel forward. Heel, heel. Heel, lift the toes. Little push down. Push, push, push. Seven, eight, knees again. Up, knees up. And seven, eight, pull down or back. Five, six, seven, eight. Heel plant, heel, heel, heel. Five, six, seven, eight. Push, push, push. Five, six, seven. Alternate heel up behind. Lift your heel. And seven, eight. Push up or forward. Push, push. Five, six, seven, eight. Little tap to the back. Tap, tap, tap. Little circle. Other way. Five, four, three, and 
heels up, heel up behind. Five, six, seven, eight. Push up or forward. Five, six, seven, eight. Tap back, tap, tap, tap. Five, six, seven, eight. Little circle. Three, two, other way. Up. Good. Right knee up, up, up. Four, going to a lunge. Six, seven, eight. Remember holding something. Knee up and down. Or tap and down. Six, seven, eight, nine, and hold up, circle. You can be holding something. Other way. Good, right heel up, heel up, 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 four, five, six, seven, eight. Lunge across and wide, either straight back and wide or behind the left foot and wide. Watch that forward knee, keep it nice and stable. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine. We're gonna pull in, foot can be on the floor, so it can be down, pulling in or up for 10. As you pull, exhale, belly. Four, five, six, going to a squat, seven, Eight, watch the placement of the feet. Nine, a little bit wide, knees wide. Sit down and back, stand up. Remember we want that belly in when we're down. And seven, going to left knee up, ready, eight, nine. Left knee and up, up, up. Keep your back straight and strong. Five, six, seven, eight, and lunge. Remember, you don't have to lift the knee. Tap and down or lift. Four, five, and seven. Eight, ready with chair or wall, and hold, holding something, circling, knee stable. Other way. Going to left heel up, seven, eight, nine, heel up, up. Up, up, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cross, lunge, or straight back. Whatever works for you. Optional lift. Four, five. We're gonna pull in seven, eight. Nine, put on the floor or up, pull in one, exhale as you pull. Four, five, going to squat, six, same as before or a little bigger. And eight, and nine, good. Optional, onto the toes, sit back and up and down, and up. And 
and six. Keep your back straight and up. So you might be going to here. You don't have to go all the way down. Two more. And up. Good work. All right. Alternate leg. You're going to tap forward, side, back, change. Forward, side, back, change. Change. Good, one more right through. Last one, forward, back, side, good. Little skip, up, up, three, four, your choice. Seven, eight, turn back for 10, nine, adding arm movements now. Five, four, three, alternate legs, same as before. Every time that foot taps, you change the fingers. Twos and threes, change to three and two. Ready and forward, side, back. <laughs> One more. Through. Forward, side, back, skip. Okay, hopefully I do better next time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Turn the other way. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Same thing with the legs. Index finger and pinky. And make it a little easier. Stay on the right leg. Ready and it's front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side. One more, front, side, back, change. Front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side. One more. And skip. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And other way. Ten, nine, eight. Renew one more time. Six, five, four, three, two, twos and threes again. Your choice. Stay right for three, then left for three. Or alternate. I'm going to try again to alternate. Ready and right foot. Front, side, back, change. Change. Up. Change. Change. One more. Good, and last time, little skip. Good work for five, four, three, and other way, up. Three, four, five, six, nice big breath up. Think about opening the ribs, open up and down. All right, taking your chair and your weights. Remember that we are using heavy and light but you don't have to use heavy and light and you don't have to use weights. So you can do all of the exercises with or without weights. Now, I'm also going to use a loop band. Again, you don't have to use a loop band. So you will do the exercise without the band or if you have a long band, you can tie it into a circle, so holding like that, and tying it into a fairly small circle because we want to be using your glutes. So big muscles, we want to work on glute activation. So I have my loop band and my chair here, and I'm stepping into my loop band. You can have it above the knee or below the knee, but not right on the knee. I'm going to have it just below my knee, feet wide, tension on the band the whole time. 
the action is coming from right here outside of the glute. So I've got my chair here and my weights ready. I'm on my toes, my knees are wide. I wanna feel those glutes working. So remember, think about what you're trying to work with or without hands. So hands can hold or not. Knees going out and out. Think about the out. And remember the band stays tight. So you're only going part way back. Push out and out. Toes are pointing forward. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm going to squat in five, four, three, Two heels down now, keeping the knees wide, thinking about knees turned out. Sit back, stand up, sit back, stand up, exhale. Two more, and then we're gonna do five a little bit faster. Here we go, four, five, squeeze up, four, Three, two, good, and up. Repeat, out, out, out. Ten more, 10, nine, and six, five, four, three, two. Squat, heels down. Five and up, knees wide. And two. Here we go a little faster for five. It's five, squeeze up. Four, squeeze up. Two, one more set. And up on the toes, optional. You don't have to be on the toes. Out, out. Think about X. Ten more. Seven, six, five, four, three. Ready for squat? Two. Here we go. Heels down. Knees stay out. Band tight. One, two, three, four. Little faster for five. It's five, squeeze up. Four, squeeze up. Three, two, great, and up. Moving the band down now so that it's either ankle or middle of the calf. Lower is more difficult. And so you can have it on the knees. And again, you don't need to use the band. We're gonna move side, keeping that distance between the feet. So little step, right, whoops, right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 left, left, left. Two more, right, 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 left. Keep it wide, keep it wide. One more, over, 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 back, and now hold. Think about being nice and stable on the left knee. Right leg, either tapping or up, and you can be holding something, and out, out, out. Ten more, out, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna lead right foot forward, three, two, and plant it. Wide feet now, down low, big step, pivot forward, four steps. Right, left, right, left, back, 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 back. Forward, 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 nice and wide, hold it out. Two more. Forward, and back. One more, forward, and back. Good work. 
We're gonna move now left first, keep it wide, ready, and one, two, little steps. Right, keep it wide. Left, wanna feel those buttocks. And over, again, over, and back, we're holding. Focusing on keeping right knee stable, left leg, tap out or up and out, out, out. Nice and stable. 10 more, we're gonna walk forward wide step, leading left. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Nice and wide and left, right, left, right, back, 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 forward, big, 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 back. Again, forward and back. One more, forward and down. Great, and release, and off. Okay, now we're gonna alternate row, squat, and then push up and hinge. So reminder, on the squat, you're sitting back and down. On the hinge, less work for the knees, more focus on glutes, low back and hamstrings, hip straight back, straight forward, no down. In both cases, back stays straight. So optional, adding the weights on the squat, and then we hold in a hinge position to do a high row with elbows nice and wide, weights directly below the elbow. We set the chest for the squat, it's 10, squeeze up. And seven, six, five, four, and three. Ready for row. And two. And hinged position. Hip back. Weights in line with the feet. Pull one, two. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Three. And six, and seven, eight, nine. Squat, take it up, sit down, stand up. Remember, you don't have to use the weights. And you can take it to a march instead of the squat. And seven. And eight, ready for the row, nine. Good, hip back, flat back, weight in line with the feet, and up. Remember, exhale as you pull, belly comes in. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, one more set. Squat, sit, stand. <clears throat> Push your feet down and out like you're on a piece of paper and you're trying to tear it. Seven. Eight, nine, here we go. Row, hinge position, last one, and 10. Shoulder blades together. Nine, flat back, exhale. And five, four, three, two, single weight. And down. All right, going now to the hinge and push up. I'm just going to walk through the options on push up. So, if your shoulders are bothered, 
possibly not the best thing to do the push-ups. Very stressful on the shoulder. Instead, you can go to a hold, thinking about being nice and wide shoulder to shoulder. That can be done on the floor or the chair, just holding, all right? Great exercise for everything facing the floor. You can also be on the wall. Remember, if you're on the wall, like it, floor or chair, arms in line with your chest. So we don't want this. And if you're on the floor, you can choose knees down. Remember, it's about getting chest down, not head down, whichever your position. All right, I'm doing the hip hinge. My feet are nice and wide. I'm pushing my hip back. I'm bringing my hip forward. You can have the weight holding between the legs, push and hold, or you can bring it up. So we're going for 10. Push back. Two, three, four, your choice. Five, squeeze those buttocks. Six, seven, think about your buttocks. Eight, nine, and last one, push up. Choose your position. Knees can be bent, remember, chest down, chest up. Ready for 10, nine, Five, four, three, two, and up. Second time. Hinge. Feet wide. Back straight. Look forward. And seven. Eight, nine, push up, choose your position, and remember just the hold is fine. Whichever your position, think about exhaling, belly coming in. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, resting any time, eight. Last one. Remember, you don't have to go all the way down, but you do want to keep proper form. Last set, hip hinge. One, two, three, four, six, seven, Eight, nine, last time, push up. Choose your position, retraction, exhale as you come down. Three, four, and six, seven, eight, Nine, pulling back, here we go. On the floor or the chair, pull back. All right, we're now gonna go into a row again, a little bit heavier. And we're also going to do shoulder press. So I'm using the chair and I have my heavy weights ready. Both feet down or right hand has the weight, left leg up. So if you add that, a lot of work happening for that right buttock. So your choice, right arm row. Ready and one, three, four, five. We're gonna go to shoulder press. Six, left leg moving in a lunge. Seven, you can go to a squat or just the arm. Nine, and remember that if the shoulder press is not a good exercise for you, so if pushing over the head is not good for you, you can take the arm forward or out to the side. Anytime, take it to a march. 
Right arm, left leg moving. It's 10 and up. Optional extension through the left leg. Three, four, five, seven, eight, back to the row, right, nine, good, row, right, again, left hand on the chair, back nice and straight, both feet down or left leg up, one, two, five, seven, back to shoulder press, eight, or option, nine, Lunge, optional. Left leg will make this down and up and two. Four, five, and seven, and eight, nine. Last one, and up, good. Abdominal set, then we're changing to left. Hands on the chair, back in neutral position. So little hollow in the low back. Shoulders away from the ears. Nice and long the back. Exhale and pull the belly up, so. Back stay still, just that belly moving. As you pull the belly up now, we're gonna bring one hand up. So walk your hands close together. Ready and exhale, right and left. Nice, strong exhale. Adding opposite foot, optional. Two more. Last one. Row, left side. So heavy weights, left, right hand on the chair. Again, watch that back position, neutral spine, both feet down or right leg up. Row, pull for one. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to shoulder press. Nine, lunge. Choose your option. It's left arm, right leg moving. One, two, Five, seven, eight, nine. Good. Again, row. Again, heavy weight left, right hand on the chair, both feet down, back in a neutral position, or right leg up, left arm. One. Exhale as you pull. Five, six, and eight, nine. Shoulder press and lunge. Optional is down and up. Five, seven, eight, nine, 
Last one. And down. Good. Okay. Going now into a single joint. So I'm going to use my long band and my light weight. Again in the shoulder, back of the shoulder, top of the shoulder. Reverse fly with the band, lateral raise with the light weights. At any time, go to no weight. And if you don't have a band, you'll start with arms wide and push back, which we're going to do first. So you'll just repeat that. So going into posture before we start, let's breathe first. So taking the heart rate down into the rib cage and exhale. Try not to breathe into the top of the shoulder. Try not to breathe into the front of the chest. Into your sides. And exhale. Walk your feet. And inhale, nice and wide. Make that diaphragm work and exhale. One more. And exhale. All right, posture. Toes pointing forward, feet directly under the forward part of the hip bone. Making sure your feet are parallel and your weight is even on both feet. Remember that we often stand with that hip forward, so we're gonna correct that first. Hands on the thighs, push the hip back. It's just a little bit. So my hip is in line with my knee, in line with my ankle. Drop the tailbone, soften the knees, pull up and in. Externally rotate now, turn. Pull the chin straight in. Feel the length in the spine. Feel the length through your sides. Holding that. Bring your arms up. Try to keep the back in the same position, chin in. Turn your palms to the ceiling. Press back, 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 back. Good, now hold it there. Hold the position, push the hip back. You can stay upright, you don't have to add this. And hold, feel the length in the spine from the tailbone to the top of the head. Remember, keep that alignment. Try not to let the ribs pop forward, keep it in and bring it up. Hands behind the head. You can use a band and hold the band here or hands. With your head, push straight back. With your hands, pull forward. Keep your alignment. Double chin, pull it in and hold. Optional, hold it in the hinged position. It's just a little hinge, just a tiny bit forward. Keep that length. And up, great, and release. Okay, I have my long band, or you're going to this movement. I'm gonna add movement of the feet. Tension on the band the whole time. Arms are straight, moving from the back of the shoulder, thinking about retraction. And I'm going to tap forward back with my right foot for 10. Nine, eight, foot can be up, and six, five, four, three, and two, release, light weights. Right leg now out to the side, leaning left slightly, and you can hold or have foot up. It's one. Keep it below the shoulder, two. Think wide, not high. Three, you can do this without weight. Five, six, wide, wide. And eight, and nine, last one, and down. Um, band again, 
This time, left foot taps forward back, up or on the floor. I'm gonna start on the floor. Tension on the band, shoulders down. Think about your posture. Ready and one. Two, exhale as you open your arms. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and release. Light weights, lateral raise. Again. Slight lean to the right, standing on that right foot, left toe down or up. One. Four. Five. And seven. And eight. Nine, last one, great. Okay, we're gonna give it a little bit of a stretch and I'm gonna use my chair, stretching through the hamstrings, so back of the leg. I'm gonna give you a couple of options. One, so starting right foot, putting the foot on the floor, heel down, lifting the tailbone straight back, coming forward. Secondly, you can put the foot on the chair. So remember, you can hold the wall. Again, lift the tailbone, try and increase the hollow in the low back. Pull those toes in, keeping the legs straight. Feeling the stretch in the back of the leg. So wherever you feel the stretch, if you feel it on the floor, put on the floor. And if you don't, you need a little more range there, you can put it on a chair or something a little bit higher. And remember to be ready to hold on to something. And up, both hands on the chair, feet directly below the hip and a little bit wide. Push your hips way back now. Pull away from your arms and feel the length in your back. Your knees can be bent here. And in and up. Left foot forward, toe up, tailbone up and hinging. Or left foot a little higher, tailbone up and hinging. Good, and down, and again, pulling through the back. Hands on the chair, feet under the hip, hip way back, knees can be bent, and pull away from your arms. You can be doing this holding something where you can really pull, like a door handle, or maybe a sofa or counter, where you can really pull away and feel that lengthening in your back. Great, bring it up, sitting on the chair. It can be done standing, but the chair is helpful. We're gonna stretch a little bit through the shoulders, again, through your lats. So I'm sitting on my chair and I'm going to start by releasing the shoulder. Left hand, I'm gonna push down on the top of the shoulder. I'm trying to get these muscles here that sometimes do a little bit more work than I want them to. So I'm pushing down into them, releasing them. And I'm looking for spots that feel a bit tight, holding, releasing. My arm is relaxed, that right arm. Stretching that, hold the chair with the right hand. Sit tall, make sure you're not letting the shoulder pop in. Keep the good shoulder posture and lean left. And just let the weight of your head Pull through the neck on the right and into the shoulder. Release, relax, exhale into the stretch. 
Optional, adding a little more weight by placing the hand on the head. And up. Right hand now on the top of the left shoulder. And again, my left arm is now relaxed and I'm pushing down with my fingers. More holding, less moving, just finding the spot and then releasing the tension. Exhale. And stretching that, holding the chair. Sit tall, watch this position of the shoulder, so make sure thumb is forward and lean right. And just let the weight of your head pull through the neck and shoulder on the left. Exhale. Optional, hand on the head. Good, and release. Again now, stretching for the shoulder, and for this stretch, a band is handy. You may not need it, but I'm gonna do it with the band so you can see how it works. It's a little bit complicated. Right arm forward with a right angle at the elbow, and the elbow is in line with the center of the chest. Band into my hand like that. Left hand also holding the, well, no, <laughs> left hand, Elbow on the inside of the right, taking hold of the band. So my arms are like this. Elbow is directly in front of me. I'm gonna get my hands as close together as I can. And then my left hand, fingers pointing away. So I'm like that. All right, make sure you keep the right angle. And now with your right hand, so that bottom arm, pull to the left. Again, elbows up and shoulders down, so it looks like that. And you should feel the stretch in the top of your left shoulder. Fingers away, elbows up, shoulders down. And release. Good, changing arms. So now my left arm forward, right angle. Right arm on the inside of the left, and I'm holding that band. So if you don't need the band, you would be holding the thumb. So I'd be holding onto my right thumb with my left hand or the band, and it can be far apart. The goal is to pull that right arm over using the left arm. So again, I'm holding. Fingers away on the right side, elbows up, shoulders down, pull right. Looks like that. Feeling the stretch in the top of the right shoulder. Great and release. And one more. Palms towards you, hands clasped, thumbs up, arms straight. Now push your thumbs away, pushing up on the heels of the hands and the insides of the elbows. Tuck your chin. Feel your shoulder blades come apart and think about pushing shoulders down as you push those shoulder blades apart. Release, breathe it up and release down. Great work.